At my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital, we constantly get clients telling us, I need a lot of high domain authority links. People are asking for this left and right, and everyone believes that you need that to rank at the top of Google, and those are the only kind of links you need. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna break down if you really need high domain authority links to rank. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now, if you're probably wondering, the short answer is, is yes, high domain authority links do help with rankings, but do you really need all your links to be high domain authority? And I'm gonna break down how you can get that answer. It's not a simple yes or no, because it's gonna vary per term that you're trying to rank for. Now, generally speaking, the better the authority of links or sites linking to you, the better off you're going to do because sites like Wikipedia, although those links are no fault, but sites like let's say New York Times or Forbes or Entrepreneur or BBC or CNN tend to have more authority. So the links carry more weight, but those links are hard to get and everyone's aiming for them. And you may not need really that many to rank and you may not need any at all, depending on the keyword that you're trying to rank for. So let's first break down a keyword that you may want to rank for. Now I'm going to Google a random keyword like dog food, right? So let's say you want to rank for dog food. What I want you to do is Google for the term that you want to rank for and pull up uh, the first five or 10 pages that are ranking really high up. Now keep in mind, a lot of the sites that rank may have high domain authority, and that can skew the results. But in generally speaking, I want you to pull up all the results that are ranking organically on page one, take them to Ubersuggest and put in the URL. And you just go to neilpatel.com slash Ubersuggest. Now what you'll want to do is in the left navigation, click on SEO Explorer, then backlinks. This is the backlinks report. Let me put in the URL here uh, that's ranking number one. Make sure it's selected all or exact URL and then click search and that's it. As you can see, domain authority 58, 735 links, referring domains. This page right here has 124 links from a domain authority of one to 20, uh, 72 links from 21 to 40, 19 links from uh, 41 to 60, 14 links from 61 to 80, and only five domains that are linking to them with 81 to 100. So as you can see here, majority of the links, and this is for the first result that's ranking at the top, majority of the links based on this pie graph, it doesn't even look like, you know, less than 15% What's the total links. So 234. So this is 14, this is five, um, less than 10% of the links actually have a high domain authority linking to this URL. So now let's go to the next result. Petco, let's block that. And I'm gonna go back to Uber Suggest. Again, you wanna look at URL, click the search button, type it in, 2,587 backlinks. Similar, only eight domains from 81 to 100, nine from 61 to 80, so very little. So you're talking about eight plus nine, 17. So when I do the rough math, 17 divided by, let's move this, uh, 2587. And you're looking at less than 1% of their links have a high domain authority for this Petco URL. Now let me go to Amazon. Now again, I know Petco, Amazon, some of them have high domain authority. And as you can see with the Amazon URL, they have a high domain authority. 166 backlinks, 73 referring domains. Let's see, only one link has an 81 to 100 domain authority. The rest are 21 to 40 and uh, one through 20. But again, Amazon has a high overall authority. Here's Purina. Let's look that up in Uber Suggest. Domain authority 68, 160, 174 referring domains. As you can see, one domain 81 to 100 and two domains 61 to 80. So that's three links out of 174. That's pretty much, you know, around one to 2%.
So that's a really low number, right? So when you think about it, when you're looking at somewhere like Purina, they don't have a lot of rich domain authority backlinks. So in general, if you're worrying or thinking like, I need a lot of rich domain authority links to rank, the biggest trend that you saw with most of these pages that are ranking on page one, majority of their links have low domain authority. Don't obsess about domain authority. Even though a lot of tools like Moz and us and Ahrefs and SEMrush, we have our own metrics of domain authority. Google doesn't use domain authority. It's just an indicator to show you that, hey, this site has more authority, links from it are better, but it doesn't mean that you need tons of high domain authority links to rank. And there's a lot of cases, especially when you get into longer tail terms, and dog food I would say is a head term and is competitive, but there's a lot of terms out there that are less competitive than terms like dog food. So don't obsess about the domain authority, focus on the sites linking to you and their relevancy over anything else. And when you're working on your link building, just go out there and get as many good natural links as possible, create a good product, create good content, and that's how you're gonna win instead of obsessing on your domain authority. If you have any questions about domain authority or anything related to SEO, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you need help with your link building or just your rankings on Google, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for your time.